last time I was here, I broke my rod on a fish. Set hooks on one about 30, bunk, and eight went, went off right here. I could have cried. You know, catching muskies on fly rods or any way is never really easy. You gotta go as far north in the fish's range as you can get. What that does is it, it puts the fish in a pre-spawn situation later into the season. I'm here first week of season, and I'm the only muskie fisherman in camp. Muskies aren't supposed to bite early, baloney. What we're gonna do, instead of blindly flailing and praying, we're gonna fish these things like tarpon. They're gonna be positioned in very, very predictable, specified types of areas. We're gonna sneak in and visually try to spot these things before we cast to them. And well, you're just gonna be flat amazed. I'm not kidding you when you see the way that these things react to flies. I think I like the the entrance of the trout hole clean, into this because this is going to be blown 65 degree water out into the surface of this thing right. and if there's anybody there they ought to be nosing in done is that a fish right there right there right there the end of that log that's a musk which way is she patient can you see the one i'm talking about she's facing my right oh yes Let the line sink down below the fish. The fly's gonna float. She's turning. Oh, got her, got her. All right, big fish. <laughs> like a piece of spaghetti. She ate it like a chunk of wood. Uh. <laughs> oh, mercy. Muskies aren't supposed to do this. Not quite done yet either. It's a little bit bigger fish than I thought. Wet tip, floating fly. She's bigger than I thought she was. And take a look, check this out. Getting right down the top of her head. This fish has had a broken, a broken jaw. Look at this. She's got like a real minor side bite. Very interesting. <sighs> Muskie, is it the fish of 10,000 casts or 1,000 casts? The way we're doing it, no way. It might be the fish of one cast. I'm going to show you a way to catch muskies that's going to really surprise you and really breaks all the rules. It's going to be fun. But you'll have to wait till next week when I'm going to show you every detail you'll need to know to catch a muskie on a fly. In the meantime, give Don a call. Imagine what this fish is going to look like when it's a 50-pounder with that Icky jaw hanging out like that. Goodbye, musky.